mobile app is a client, desktop app is a client, but they use the backend logic. One more time. The, an application, there is a two type of application. The same application can be two types. One is static, one is dynamic. What is the static app? You develop a mobile app. It is just reading the documents, nothing else. It is not storing anything. It is not sending anything. Means you cannot, whatever you did is gone. It's called the static. Yes, because there is still millions of app, it's a static app. That's it, you don't need to do anything. And there is a dynamic app, means you are signing up, you are signing, you are buying, you are doing something. Whenever a app is dynamic, it is actually connected with the backend. Good? Next, so mobile app is a special app because based on the needs, I think the right after the evaluation uh, of the, what is called the iPhone, then the business started booming that we need to get the, the billions of clients attention and we are going to give the client the, instead of the website, we also give them the mobile app as well. So that's the way the mobile app actually become popular. So now mobile app, there is three mobile app store. One app store is Apple, another is Google and Microsoft has there as well. The most dominating one is Google Play Store and App Store. Any app on the production, if the TS40 is the same process, for the GM, same process. For the FBI, same process. They have to go through the Apple and the Google Play Store process. Simple as this. If they want to take it to the production, production means the end user see. It. And you have to follow their process and the procedure. For the mobile app, you have a specific programming language and you have a cross programming language. Specific means if you want to build the iOS, Apple has their own programming language to build the iOS app. Android, Google has their own programming language, it's called the Android Studio to build the Android app. But there was some problem in the industry for the company because now you need to hire two developer. They're actually developer. Mobile app, they actually call the developer because they actually only design the UI and consume the backend API. They don't do anything else. They do not write the backend logic. So make sure you understand this. Then there is a cross platform. Cross platform is you are writing the code one time, but you are actually generating the two version, Android and the iOS. And that's become the popular in the industry today. So that company is saving money. Cross platform such as React Native is a cross platform. So TS for use mobile app based on the React Native, it's a JavaScript, okay? And what do we do? We write the code one time and we produce the two app. Another is Flutter. Flutter is also cross cross platform, write the code one time, build the app for the two play store, two, two, two store. I think there is more, I don't know, but that's actually the mobile app. We'll be talking about how the, the development works. Now go to the desktop app. I think at this moment, as a, you guys are a user, the browser is, is for everybody's using because, and you get distracted easily, right? you get distracted easily. Browser can have the bug. Browser can have the fix. Browser can have the hacking. Browser have so many issues, but still we use the browser. Some company, they decide, well, let's forget about all of this. We are developing the desktop app. We are going to give our users, means our employee, our team member, so that our developer can, our user can use the desktop app. Do the same thing they're doing in the browser. It's a decision, company decision, they do it. But they use the same backend. Slightly different than the desktop app and the mobile app. Desktop app can be developed by the different programming language. We learned the mobile app. What is this? 
you can use the .NET Studio, Microsoft .NET Studio to develop the web, backend, and the desktop app. But here is also JavaScript. JavaScript has the library, it's called the Electron JS. That actually build the desktop app. TS for use desktop app is based on the JavaScript. It is the library is Electron JS or the framework, whatever you call it. That's the way we develop. One more time, it's a cross platform. You write the code one time, you are producing two versions. One is for the Windows operating system, another is for the Mac operating system. So again, JavaScript. It has also the same process like the App Store and the Play Store, but there is no people use in the industry two operating system on their day-to-day -day work. One is Mac operating system, another is Windows operating system. Very less people care uh, to like the produce the uh, produce the app desktop app for the Google Chrome. We don't care. So now you you have to follow the same process. We'll talk about that. You have to build the app and you have to actually take to the Play Store. You have to get the approval. We'll be talking about this. But the thing is, desktop app, one is called the thick application, one is called the thin application. You need to know this as well because you are working in the industry. Uh, the, you have to know this. What is the thick, what is the thin? I think I wrote in the in the chat. I don't know if you guys if you guys have read it. So read that. Okay, thick application and the thin application. So let's go quickly here. I, thick application, example. Thick client, we call the thick client, okay? Thick client, got it, done. Why, why not? What happened? Where is my phone? So there is a call the thick client, there is called the thin client. Browser is a thin client. And the desktop app is a thick client. Simple as this. They do the different, they do the same thing, but we call them as a the you log into your mobile extreme, thick client. You are logging to your, the, the EC2 from the browser, thin client. Simple as this. Any question? So you need to know this because this kind of this kind of things we use in the in the in the in the day-to-day -day work. And there is the in the properly so that people know the what are these. 